All right, you guys, let's get those high knees in motion. Happy Monday, let's get it here. Good old warm up. Go for it. You guys are rocking out those high knees as I get set here. Ada, love the shirt. Whew. All right, let's get warmed up. Let's jog it out. Let me adjust. Even though you guys already seem kind of warmed up, you guys were on the move all weekend. Love to see it, guys. Nice job there. Give me five more seconds. We'll take it into the scoops. Three. All right, two, so those legs warmed up. One. Scoops. Sitting back through the hips onto that heel. Straight front leg, keeping that toe pointed up, reaching towards the shin. A big reach up. I can't reach, but I want to remind you guys all the way up. This is all shoulders too here, guys, as you guys punch into that sky. Three, two, one. Squat to reach. All right, let's get that squat to reach here, guys. Three, two, one. Bent W. All right, again, a big reach up here, guys. Really think about those shoulder blades moving along the rib cage, reaching up, driving in your back pocket. Whew. Starting to fill those lungs up too here, guys. Really warming up. Three, the two, one. The televators. Guys, let me see those arms in motion too. I think you guys are running a sprint here. Get that upper body warmed up. There we go. You got 10 seconds. Good. Five, four, three, three, two. Your reverse two, lunge. One. Reverse lunge to reach. Seconds there, squad. Ugh. And come on up your squat walkout, y'all. Three, two, one, squat walkout. Ten more seconds there. Try to get two more. Take that speed up notch. On that last one, you can stay down there for your Three, dirty dogs. Two, one, dirty dogs. Three, two, right. one, hip openers. And get those hips opened up. Uh, again, you guys will need either or a band or weights. Um, if you have dumbbells, uh, you might also need like a bench or something elevated. Uh, not required, but well, some, some for today. <coughs> Three, <coughs> two, one, shuffles. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Give me 15 seconds there, guys. Keep that up. Good. Give me 10. And 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, guys. So, the new norm for Monday is max rep push ups. It's going to be on the minute. Whatever way you started to do them in the first place is the way we're gonna to continue to do them. So if you started kneeling, go ahead and drop down, hit some kneeling push-ups, see how many you can get, all right? So max rep push-ups coming at you guys in five, four, three, two, and go. So here we go, guys, working on that max rep. Oh, they're 
getting hard. 25 seconds, guys. Good, stay with me. You got 20 seconds coming your way. Okay, give me last time. Come on, stick with me, guys. Stick with me. If you have to go kneeling, go for it. But that's when you're going to stop counting your max reps. Here we go. Three, two, and one. All right, looking good, guys. You can shake that off. We're going to go right back into that. So today's timer, it's a three-minute AMRAP. All right, so you're going to have two movements to do. And you're just going to go ahead and rock it out. Um, for three minutes. Uh, your rep scheme, your first round, you're doing everything for 14 reps. Your second round, you're doing everything for eight, and then six. So 14, eight, six. First up, our push-ups, all right? Now that you guys are warmed up, you guys know the drills. Make sure you're packing those shoulders down, tucking those hips under, dropping in. So it's total reps, so however you need to get them done, get them done. Once you're done that, you're gonna go into a side crunch. Let me move back here. Uh, it's gonna be per side here. So side crunch, your arms about a foot away from your leg, and you're just gonna go ahead and make that wing crunch up. Notice I got off my back and I'm on my elbow, and you're gonna roll now. So you got 14 on one side, 14 on the other, and then you're gonna go do then eight push ups, eight side crunches, and then six. All right, so 14, eight, six, three minute AM wraps, see how many rounds you can get. Of everything. Sound good? Any questions? All right, guys, here we go. Andrew, that is totes adorable. <laughs> All right, let's get it, guys. Here we go. Push ups, side crunches, 14 to start. Three, two, and one. Let's go, guys. Push that ground away at the top. Don't just stop here. Stop at a big push away position. A little tired. I'm gonna do the last one on my knees. Yeah. And then we got that side crunch coming at you. So side crunch again, put that arms about in front of you. You're gonna go ahead and tilt up on that elbow. 14 total, or 14 per side. Try to keep that chin from tucking the whole time. All right, feels good. I'll do it again. You're done 14, you can shake it off, take a little breather, and then go for eight reps here, guys. Eight reps coming at you. Guys, almost tough to get. Push for them push-ups, guys. Work for them, man. They get tough. Make sure that lying arm is on the ground in front of you. So go from up here, down there. Good. Okay, you guys got 10 seconds. Finish it out. Finish strong. All right. 
Next station, guys, you have a wide bent row. So you're gonna go ahead and get into that bent position. Knuckles are gonna face your knees, row out wide, and then drop it in. All right, again, rowing out wide. We're not super strict, but super close. Get those weights outside of the shoulders. You got 14 there, drop weight. You got side bends, all right? So drop it down, come on up. You can absolutely do these with the bands. Same thing, you guys can get started. Bands, pull wide, and then for the side bends, you're just gonna stick that band on one foot, drop and drive, all right? So yeah, if you're in that bent position, you're going wide with that row, all right? And you guys are on that timer start, you guys can get started. Moderate weight here on these 14. Maybe I'll jump up for the eight. Definitely for the six. Those side bends, they're gonna be tough. Go as far as you're comfortable with. I'm gonna go knock my knee just above the knee. Feet close together here. Make sure you're dropping that shoulder right to the side. There's not a lean forward. You're going right down there, sideways. Uh, let's go single sided with the weights here, guys. You don't have two weights in one hand. Let's go one weight on these. It's basically ineffective if you have two weights because the one weight counters the other. And then you're not using this part of your body to pull that weight up. Try to ride your leg the whole time with that, with your knuckles and with your weight on those side bends. Keep as close to your body as you can. You guys got 30 seconds. Let's try to get those six rows in. Good, last 20. I'm gonna slow my tempo down on these. Same weight, so I'm just gonna slow down my descent. So big power, big hold, control on the way down. Last five seconds, hold a row, guys. Hold a row, hold it, pull it, hold it. All right, looking good. Okay, we got a little cardio break right now, so we're gonna stick the same rep scheme, 14 Heisman's. Each direction is one. So you got your Heisman's, we're gonna do clap jacks. So it's a jump and jack with a clap. And then your last one, tall Sasquatch. Let's go total here, guys. All right, so a little cardio burst. Get that heart rate going. I'm burning off pineapple upside down cake. Currently, here we go. 14 Heisman's. Clap jacks. Looking good, guys. Way to move. Sass squash. Next up, you got eight.
you get your heart moving, right? Ninety seconds, guys. And when you're done, get go right back to those fourteen. Three minutes just got a little longer, huh? Keep it going. Sixty seconds. Nice job. Way to move. Oh, it's down. Here we go. Alright, last 25, guys. Seconds going at you. Alright. Alright, as you guys cool down, I am going to show you the next movements. So, you're going to be on the ground the entire time on your back. If you have a weight, I'll show you the weights first, I'll show the band second. So, it's going to be a hip extension alternating fly. It's going to be total reps, not per side. So you're just going to go ahead and get in that big hip bridge, tuck the hips under. You're going to open up, squeeze, open up, squeeze. Give me a good amount of control there, guys. For you bound people, you guys are just going to have to be, you're going to have to be up for this. So you're going to, you're going to get wide. That band's going to be along your back. And you're just going to go ahead and do one at a time. Big squeeze, hold it. Control it on the way back. Big squeeze, hold it. Control it on the way back, all right? So there's your first movement. Your second one is a little combo. So it's a V up to a sprinter crunch. The combination is a rep, all right? So you're gonna do a V up, same leg, sprinter's crunch. Hit the other side for two, V up, sprinter's crunch. Hit the opposite side for three, so on and so forth, all right? So you get a little combo there. So hip extension fly, alternating fly, and then your V up, the sprinter's crunch, bada bing, bada boom. Let's get you guys going. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Let's go, guys. Good control reps here, guys. I know we just got done that cardio around. Time to bring it down a bit. Really feel those muscles working for you. Again, total reps. So it's essentially seven per arm. These flies get tough. Try not to let those hips sway to the left and right. And aim for a tuck of the gluteus here. Just keep that butt tucked under, keep it tight. And uh, let's mind your shrug here. A lot of times people fly and they're all shrugged up at the shoulders. Try to drop their shoulders down a little bit here, guys. And uh, hey, at the top, Let's squeeze through that invisible force field so you're not bonking the weights together, but you're giving that chest a little squeeze there at the top. Make it work for you guys. Okay, once you've done those, you get your V up. It's a single side sprinter's crunch. Come on up. Hit that combo. Soften from the 
Pineapple upside down kick you had this weekend. Oh, all right. I'm gonna go higher in weight as we go lower in reps here. So I'm grabbing my 30s. Oh, all right. You guys are running out, so make these reps work for you. So back, chest, and biceps, and triceps today, guys. So even if you're not getting three sets of these, that's cool. we got more to come here. The reps you do get, though, make them good. Make them efficient. Aim for a squeeze at the top every time. Feel those pecs kind of pulling together at the top. We're not just doing reps to get them done, man. Make them work for you. Good five. All right guys, so if you have somewhere to elevate yourself, you're gonna go ahead and do that here. So it's basically what we just did, but we're in a high plank position and we're gonna fly out to the side. So total reps, I'm gonna go seven on one side, seven on the other. If that's too tough, you can always do it in a bent position or you can just put your feet on the ground and get out of that plank position and go wide from there, okay? Uh, let me hit pause real quick. If you have a band, you're not gonna be able to alternate your fly, so we're just gonna do high band pull-aparts. So you're gonna start with that band above your head, and then you're gonna pull it right down into your collarbone. So again, nice big high reach into the sky, driving in, squeeze the shoulder blades, and pull, all right? So let me just go over that again real quick. So in my head, the movement is a elevated high plank, wide feet, Pull to the side, control it on the way in. So it's a wide fly. You can always bring your feet in under the hips, control it from there as well. All right. If you don't have a bench to lean on, you guys can just go and put your hand on your leg and fly from there. Okay. Again, we're going to split the reps. So it's seven and seven, four and four, three and three. Uh, your move after that is a bent tricep extension. I'll show you guys with bands first. So you're going to step on the band, and let me just move back. So you're going to step on the band and get into a nice big wide row, like you're about to yank a lawnmower. So from here, you're, you're going to go ahead and pull it, this is your starting position, and then a punch back is your ending position, alright? So again, elbows by your side, forearms leaning on your leg, punch back, draw it in. If you are using the weights, it's going to be the same setup, alright? So single weight. You're going to get back into that nice deep lunge position. You're going to cock your arm back and start and punch straight back into the um, wall behind you. Really good tricep maneuver here. All right, so we'll get that in motion and I'll help you guys along the way, those of you that I can see. A couple movements here that we haven't done before, so take your time on, again, effective reps, even if that means two sets of each. All right, so let's get you guys set up for your single arm wide fly. All right, timer's on, guys. Here we go. Three, two, let's go. So high plank, wide feet. Open up. Control it. Gravity here, guys. Killer. Fight that gravitational pull on the way down. That's how this movement works. As much as you can, lay into that plank. But if you need to bend your hips, and knees totally fine. Looking good again, seven and seven, then you're gonna get set into that deep, deep position.
So bands, if you guys have those bands, check it out. Step up with your front hand. Your first move is to sit here, get your elbow by your rib cage. From there, you're just gonna punch straight back. Try to keep your shoulders square to the ground, all right? Try not to be tilted up at that inside shoulder. Try to square around and punch back. Again, controlling that band on the way down. Looking good, guys. You're 90 seconds out. Again, two sets, perfect. If you're in that bent position off the bench, you can put your hand on the knee for a little bit of support there if you're lower back, yep. All right, 45 seconds. If you do get to six reps, do six per side here, guys. Six per side so you're not doing three and three. You guys got 20 seconds. I'm just going to try to finish up one more set of flies. Ten seconds. If you guys are only getting a couple sets here, you're more than welcome after the workout's done to get another extra set in. All right, we got a little cardio break. So I'm just moving my weights out of the way. First up, you got 14, I can't see, typewriter, skip knees. So count your skips, 14, 13, 12, 11. You're just gonna go side to side. All right, so a little skip knee action there. After that, you have a reverse, hold up. So reverse plank. What I want you to do is sit on the ground, hands on your shoulders. Sorry, knees are gonna be bent a little bit. You're just gonna go into as much of a tabletop as you can and then drop down. Tabletop it and then drop down, all right? And then your last movement, I can't see it. Uh, let's go mountain climbers or elevated mountain climbers. So I'm just gonna roll over and do regular mountain climbers per leg there, all right? So you got your skip knees traveling side to side, you got your Crab dip to bridge, and then your mountain climbers, all right? So here we go. In three, two, one, go. Good. We'll skip there in the middle. Count 14 total, and then we're gonna go down. You don't have to get into full hip extension here, guys. Listen to your shoulders. Push that ground away. If you want to just take these to hip bridges on the ground, you can be my guest, man. This is always a great way to get off the shoulders on that exercise. I realize this might be a little iffy on the wrists as well. So, you do you, boo-boo. Just as necessary. And after that, you guys are going to be all over for mountain climbers. Per side, so I'm going to count my left leg to 14. And then we're back up. Let's do uh, per side, so essentially we get 16 reps. Tuck your guys, give that butt a squeeze. Okay, you guys are coming up on a minute. Keep it going.
Good, you guys got 50 seconds coming your way. Good, hang with me guys, 30 seconds. As you guys finish up 10 seconds, think about a weight you'll be able to curl. If you wanna get that set up, your curling weight, a hammer curl weight, so you guys can set that up. So this is like arm farm 101 here. So first up, you got a five to one tempo on a military push-up. So military push-up, you're gonna go ahead and land close. All right. I want you to go slow so we can control the reps here. Even if you need to help yourself up, really just consider this a negative push-up. So you're gonna go five, four, three, two, one. Help yourself up or push yourself up. Do it again. So nice close grip there. Uh, and then your next move is a just kneeling or standing bicep curl. So you're just going to curl it, control the swing, come down. So I'm going hammer style on these. So you got your curls, you got your push ups. This is chest, this is bicep, this is tricep. So this is arms all day. Here we go. So you got the five to one tempo. Um, 14 is a little much on. This tempo, let's do, um, let's just do eights across the board in the push-ups. Do sets of eight here. All right, so a little adjustment. Eight push-ups for the tempo. So we can get a couple sets in here. Um, and it won't blow your arms out. Here we go. <laughs> Three, two, go. So if you guys are following along at home, here we go. You got five, four, three, two, push. Five, four, three, two, I'll do one more. Okay. Once you've done that, shake those arms up. You guys can give yourself a 15 second breather here if you need to. This is a lot of arms here, a lot of upper body. Take breaks as necessary. And you're going to your kneeling bicep curls, hammer style. Here we go. Let's go, uh, let's go 14 on these. So eight across the board on the push-ups. Same rep scheme for the curls. Control gravity. Don't let that, don't let those weights pull you down here. Back to the military. Before I go on my knees, I'm gonna go ahead and help myself up. Yeah, the arms are screaming right now. Nice one. Dang. My. Third step. Just after all that. So you got eight, no mistake, go higher weights, less reps. All right, we got 25 seconds left. I'm just gonna bust out maybe my last 15. So when I start, there's 15 seconds left. All right, here we go, last set. Uh, 
Good, five. All right, this is good. Now we'll effectively not be able to use our arms later today. We'll do one more set of strength. We got a set of core, and then you guys are done. First up, you got skull crushers. So you're gonna hop up, and then you're just gonna drop back. We've done these before, all right? Um, there's a fun partner way to do this if you guys wanna partner up and do it and skip the second exercise. So one person is gonna be doing the tricep extensions. The partner is gonna be here holding the fists. So you're gonna push through tension and then they're gonna pull back. So I don't know if you guys wanna partner up and try that. Ray Hall's and the uh, Malinowski's there. Uh, but that's a great way to tackle those triceps with a partner. Um, and then your second move, you guys are just gonna do curls. They're gonna be opened up. So instead of here, you're gonna open up those shoulders as wide as you can. And those dumbbells are gonna go by your side. All right, so you're gonna open up and then draw it in. All right? So you got your skull crushers. You got your curls. And then we'll be done. Yeah, so Aaron, flip on the other side. Put your feet under his armpits. So turn around and stand on the other side of his arms. Yeah, yeah. You'll put your back to me. You're kind of like gonna straddle over him. Yep, yep. And now you're gonna grab the outs the you're gonna grab his fist, he's gonna have to pull your arms in. Alright? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh Ray Hall's um this is manual resistance, so the weight might be dangerous. He could drop the weights and you could just be a pain in his ass. Like you always are anyway. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. So he's gonna, it's a three second pull in and then a three second push. Talk to each other if you're partnering up. If not, here we go. Three, two, and go. You got your skull crushers. I know we've done these, we'll do them again. Repetition gets gains. So, hey, whatever. 14, bust them out. I got lighter weights. I wanna go for the burn here at the end. I don't wanna fail out. I don't wanna struggle. I really wanna fire through this last round and get all my reps in. My goal, three sets here in three minutes. So I got a minute. For two exercises, I'm moving. I don't know if that's 14, but if I do more, I can start to slow down, so I'm hopping up, getting my curls. If you guys are doing manual resistance at home, do about six reps, because these are gonna be tougher and slower. And don't sweat on each other, that's gross. Oh, God bless you, Barb. <laughs> Just under two minutes for you guys for tracking time. If you're trying to get three sets like me. If you guys do a manual resistance, just do this. This is a great way to... Piss each other off. Try to keep those elbows close. If you raise up, you're putting shoulders in there. Put those elbows by your side. Doesn't matter how high you get on a curl. It matters how much you can get that bicep squeeze to go. I got six reps left. I'm gonna go higher in weight. Oh, I don't know about this. Whew. No, not today. Mm, I'm too tired. Let's meet me halfway. There's a little bit of results there. Mm, there's some tired reps right there. Arms are fried. All right, 30 seconds. My arms feel like jello. They're gonna be jello. 
Later on. Whew. Those are the largest reps of the day right there, man. So I'm just gonna get prepped for our finisher. You guys keep going. All right. Nice job, guys. That was hard. All right, so we have a little, uh, I made up a word, it's called isocore bodice. So it's isometric hold, but we're working the core, and we're going to be doing some bodice. Um, I don't see any smacking going on. I think the manual resistance, the couples work out, worked out well there, guys, right? <laughs> you guys are smiling. <laughs> nice job. Hey, maybe I'll make a video. We'll do like a manual resistance couples video, so you guys can do it at home. Um, so before I get into this, I did this to myself. So this is going to be tough. This is just all isometric holds, no reps, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Left side first, and then we'll do our right side second. So we're gonna do four movements on your left side, and then we're gonna do four on your right. Got it? All right, so first up. So first up, we're calling this an archer plank. So whatever degree you're comfortable with, you're gonna do it. So hardest way, this would be here, all right? You're just gonna take the hand and set it next to your hip. So we're opening up the chest a little bit, open up the shoulder, try not to uh, sink there, really pushing that ground away. If you want, you can start here and just tap out and see how far you can get with comfort. You'll feel that side light up too. So it's an archer's pike. You're just taking it out and holding it down there. So that'll be your first exercise. And then I'll just take you guys along the way. Everything's gonna be our right side here to start or left, whatever side you want to start on. So you're up in that archer's plank. Here we go. Three, two, and One. hold. I'm kind of squeezing into the ground here like I'm trying to push through a ball and pop that ball for five. Three, All right. two, one. Rest. Again, I'm sorry, okay? You're gonna be a low plank. Make that wing, you're gonna open up and hold. All right, you're just holding Three, that star. Here two, we go, I'm already one. here, come on. One. Squeeze your butt, tuck your hips. Curse me out, I don't care. If you need a little breather, take it down. You got 10 seconds. Don't let those hips sink, come on. Three, two, one. All right. Rest. You guys are going to lay on your back for a crunch hold. You're just going to reach up, squeeze, and hold. Keep that core engaged. You guys three, are on a three. Two, one. Work. Crunch hold. So this isn't a per side. This is just straight up the middle. Go up a little further if you can. Keep that chin off your chest. Reach for that sky. Squeeze the core into the ground, guys. Ten seconds. Three, two. All right. One, rest. And then you got a single leg hip bridge. You're just gonna hold it up, hold it out. Maintain tension, squeeze here. Three, So we're up, we're moving. Two, the key here, one, tuck the hips, tuck the glutes. Don't worry about pushing through the belly button. Just get those hips and the glutes squeezed. That's all we want. Push through that turf, through that ground. Three, all right. two, one, rest. Not as bad as I thought. We're gonna hit that archer's plank on the other side here this time. So we're gonna high plank, Three, then you're gonna go ahead and two, bring it around. One, work. Okay, you're not reaching towards that arm. Your shoulders over that palm. Hips are tucked. Breathe. Three. All right. Two. One. Rest. You got your side plank with a leg lift. Side plank, leg lift. Three, two, one. Work. Come on, guys. Give me 10 more seconds. Come on. You got it. You can hold it. You need to lower that leg, reset, and get a nice last five strong seconds here. Five, four, three, three two, two, yeah. one. Rest. All right, you guys, back to your crunch hold on your back. Crunch 
Hold. Three, two, one, work. If you want to go harder, legs go up. Just like a hollow body hold. Ten. Three, two, oh. one, rest. All right, and then lastly, your single leg hip or ridge. This will do it. We'll stretch you guys out up top. Three, and then you guys two, are done. One, the shot today. Work. Dang, that was a long one. 6.45. Hope you guys didn't have anywhere to be. Okay, you got five, four, three, two, and one. All right, guys, stretch it out with me. Let's go ahead and chicken wing it. So we hit that upper body pretty good. Go ahead and grab your wrist, give it a tug, and then you're just gonna fall your ear towards that chicken wing. Keep that head neutral. Breathe it out, here we go. Good, you can drop your chin towards your collarbone. Keep that tilt. You'll feel this in the back side of your neck. Let that head hang, let it go heavy. Good, and then you can keep that tilt, look all the way up. You're gonna feel it here. I love this muscle, it's called your sternocleidomastoid. It's one of my favorite ones to say. It's one of the first muscles in the digest digestion process. It helps us swallow. All right, Whew. shake that out, sit that other side. Again, making that chicken wing, this vertical spine. Tilt that ear towards your shoulder, towards the wing. Ray Hall, you're having too much fun. Give me 10 more push ups. <laughs> and look up. Love seeing those smiles on a Monday morning, guys. It makes my day for sure. 100%. The day maker. And then drop that chin. Just a reminder, guys, there will not be a live 6 o'clock tomorrow, but in your playbook, there will be an explanation of the workout. Try to check it out before like 7 o'clock tonight. If you can't find it, let me know. But I'm going to record that explanation right when we're done here so you guys can have it. It's going to be an 8 o'clock live conditioning workout if you guys want to do that with me. All right. Uh, take your left hand and just drop it behind your head. Try not to tuck your chin too much. Grab your elbow. Give yourself a little lean here. Good. When you're feeling good, you can go ahead and hit that other side. Good way to open your shoulder, get that tricep moving. Good. I'm going to go ahead and switch again back to that first side. Give the elbow a tug. Good. And then one more switch. All right. Something you guys can do during your day uh, a doorway stretch. So I'll take you guys into my laundry room here. So you guys can just walk into that doorway. And open up that chest. If you guys are sitting a lot, if you're at your computer a lot, man, I really suggest you guys do this like every hour, every 90 seconds. We've been doing a lot of push-ups, so we don't want to have a super overactive chest here. Uh, as humans, we're already driving a lot, we're in front of our devices, so we're already scrunched in. This is a great opportunity to open up and get that chest opened up. So I'm gonna hold it for about 20 seconds on one side, and then you go ahead and hold it 20 seconds on the other. Elbows right outside of my shoulder. I'm putting some weight into it, but I'm not over uh, externally rotating or not overdoing it here. And you can always do it high too, so you're just going to walk in to that frame and just open up. All right, you could also do this on the ground, you could also do it on a bench. I like to do it on a bench where you just put your hands out overhead. Kneeling position or bent at the knee position. Let that chest open up. And there you have it, guys. Nice little stretch, nice little upper body Monday. You guys kill it. Let me get a clap out, guys. Nice shot at home. High fives all around. You guys are on fire. Keep it up. Nice shot. Yeah. You're welcome. You got it. You are welcome. See you guys tomorrow. You're welcome. I got shade. Look at that. Bye. 
See you guys. And we'll see you guys at home. Nice job.